Our next guest is an Emmy-nominated writer and comedian you know from shows like Saturday Night Live and Detroiters. The second season of his fantastic show, I Think You Should Leave, with Tim Robinson, is streaming globally on Netflix. Let's take a look. They're saying they want to drop Corn Cob TV because we showed over 400 naked dead bodies on our show Coffin Flop. <laughs> if you love Corn Cob TV shows, it's time to tell Spectrum no. They're saying Coffin Flop's not a show. <laughs> it's just hours and hours of footage of real people falling out of coffins at funerals. <laughs> There's no explanation, just body after body busting out <laughs> wooden hitting pavement. <laughs> Please welcome back to the show our friend Tim Robinson. Hey, Timmy, how are you, buddy? Hey, pal, how are you? I'm fantastic. Uh, that has uh, continues to prove a point that I've said to people is I will not, I have still not stopped laughing at coffin flops. I've seen, I've watched it 10 times start to finish. It never, it never stops getting funny, being funny. Oh, I appreciate that, pal. Thank you so much. There was actually a, a lovely article where they interviewed the stunt guys and the directors of that sketch because this really is the audacity of sketch writers that uh, mm -hmm. you and Zach Cannon, your co-writer, you write this sketch and then somebody had to figure out how to make the coffins flop. <laughs> yeah, and, and the hardest thing I had to do was sit in a white room and just scream into camera. <laughs> Were there, I, I heard there was one coffin flop that you wrote that they couldn't figure out how to do. Well, not, I don't want to take credit away from them because I bet you they, if we would have been like, can we please try this? But I think Zach and I even were like, that's, there's no way. And it was that the description was person flops out a coffin, rolls downhill and hits a bird, <laughs> a bird that's standing there. <laughs> it was in a, the line, of course, was like, yeah, some of them yard sailed down a hill and hit birds. <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I just, the hardest thing is like, you don't want to hit a bird. And how do you get a bird to stand there with its back turned until it gets rolled into <laughs> by a corpse? <laughs> do you distract a bird with like, somebody has to hold a worm so that the bird <laughs> doesn't, it doesn't hear the coffin coming? Yeah, and then, every time it starts to turn around, you're like, no, 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 look at look at <laughs> Do you remember, uh, Mike O'Brien uh, has a wonderful cameo in this episode. Do you remember the sketch he wrote for SNL, which was he was a, a, a reporter interviewing bugs? Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. And the same thing, they, like, again, it's that thing where you're a writer, you don't think about it, and then they hire a guy who, like, brings bugs. Yeah. That and, was, yeah, Zach and I wrote that oh, with I him. Forgot and, he wrote yeah, yeah, <laughs> Zach and I wrote that with him, and, like, it was, like, there was one bug there that the bug handler was, like, He's like, don't let that one get away. If that one gets away, it could mess up the entire New York City ecosystem. And we're like, what is that bug? Put it away. Like, how good an actor is that bug that it's worth risking it? Not, no, not worth it. You have to tell me this. I don't want that bug around. He's real good, though. He'll hit a mark. Never, never loses his light. We also found out on that thing, it was like, the whole thing was like bugs, like when you, when you see them, they're running or whatever. And when it's cold, they don't run. <laughs> Which the guy, of course, doesn't tell you when you call up and hire him. He just shows no, up on no. set. He's like, they're Can not- they run? <laughs> oh, yeah, they run. <laughs> they run. You, uh, there's a really great uh, clip of uh, the stunt test on Coffin Flops. And yeah. uh, the thing I really like is it's very, Matter of fact, you just hear like directors and stunt guys and they do a test and a body, a stuntman falls out and you just hear the director say, oh, it's gonna be a funny sketch. <laughs> like you just have to see it once to know, oh, this is, this is really gonna work. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a whole day in the cemetery of stunt people flopping out of those things. <laughs> a whole day. Um, you, uh, another sketch I wanna ask about, uh, there's a uh, action movie trailer and mm -hmm. the action star, uh, Crashmore, Detective Crashmore, am I saying that? Right. Uh, and then you find out he's being played by Santa Claus. And right, uh, right. Santa Claus, as an actor, doesn't like to talk about being Santa Claus. <laughs> I'm doing this a giant disservice, explaining it like this. But I do want to stress how good that actor is. Uh, yeah. And I've told you before, I obviously am happiest when uh, you were in the sketches, but this is a sketch you're not in. How happy were you when you found this guy to play Santa? So, I mean, yeah, he auditioned. He was so fantastic, such a good actor. His name's Biff Whiff. He really did a really <laughs> great job. What? What's his name? 
Biff wins. <laughs> I'm sorry. <yeah. laughs> no, I mean, how? I feel like he would. I mean, maybe I feel it's like really he had Santa. the job on the headshot at that point. <laughs> well, there's a lot of Santas out there. <laughs> well, that's true. And you're, there's a lot of Santas. When out you're there. working off season, you're going to get a lot of Santas coming in. Yeah, there's a ton of Santas. <laughs> He wasn't um, the only person who auditioned who looked like Santa, I'll tell you that. Really? <laughs> no! There's a lot of people who look like Santa out there. Um, I, uh, I want to talk about how uh, the show, uh, now it's like a recurring theme over the course of two seasons, that hot dogs are sort of the... Mm -hmm. uh, hot, I would say mm -hmm. hot dogs and fedoras are the two images wow. I now think of at the show. Um, the show has been a very memeable. Um, uh, this is a sketch from season one, a fantastic sketch about a hot dog car crashing into a store, and then this gentleman uh, trying to figure out who did it. It's been used a lot, like, politically, whenever a politician sort of feigns sort of ignorance as to how we got to this place. Do you ever think about what a politician, maybe an older politician, must think when someone is putting this in their Twitter feed? I mean, yeah, I think there an article I'd mentioned that who, who had talked about it was like, that you can, out of context, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> so it must, I forgot who would article, I wish I could cite them and talk about, I was like, well, if you, if you see that, you're just like, I have no clue what any of this is. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I just like, yeah, Mitch McConnell wondering like, what is this supposed to mean? <laughs> That's exactly who the article cited. And it is like, you'd also have to be like, because it's not the first sketch. You'd have to like go five episodes in to be like, what? <laughs> What is, where does this come up? That guy. Uh, hey, I also want to talk about the fact that uh, you, uh, and I see this, anyone who follows you on Instagram uh, would know this about you. Uh, you were an accomplished, I hope that's a fair description, an accomplished skateboarder. But you've been doing this for a long time. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a, I, I skate. Yeah. I'm not that good. But I quit for, I quit for a long time and just, just started back up in the past three years. And one of the other things that's happened, you have a, a, is your son 10 now? Is that, how old he is? Yeah, yeah, well, he's, a, he's 11 now, he's about to turn 12. Okay, uh, and, uh, and he started skating as well. Did he find yes. it via you or did he find it on his own? Um, he found it, I mean, I was skating and then he started, but we live in, you know, we live in California where like skating's huge. So I think that almost every, a lot of people start skating and live here, so. Does he think you're cool because you're a dad who knows how to skate? No, not at all. <laughs> and actually, anytime I show him a clip, he's like, you, you, you're going too slow. You have to speed up. It doesn't look good if you're going that slow. Oh, when you show like, him a clip of yourself? If I'm like, oh, look what I, look what I got. And he's like, you got to get more speed. <laughs> Do your kids, uh, uh, you have a daughter uh, as well, Penny, Buster and Penny, is that right? That's right, yeah. Um, do they I, do they watch the show? Like, do they like, is the, that comedy of I Think You Can Leave work for them? Well, it's I Think You Should Leave. So you said could. What is it? It's, <laughs> you said you were a fan. What is this? Look, I'm sorry that you have, like, a, like a, like a five-word title. <laughs> that if I, that I, a, a title so long that, like, uh, people write I-T-Y-S-L. Okay, well... Late night with Seth Meyers. That's, I mean, oh, are we using names? Do names count? Because then I'd like to add with Tim Robinson. No, th that's not my name. That's the title. <laughs> that's part of the title. That's not my name. That's not talking about me. Dude, they... <laughs> that's not talking about you? No, that's just the name. That's not talking about me. <laughs> of course it's that's talking not about you. To me. It's, it's like, not. You're... All right. Do your kids watch it? <laughs> No, they don't. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> I, would, I have no sympathy for you. Long. They're probably like, yeah, the title's too long. Yeah. <laughs> uh, buddy, uh, I'm, I, again, I, I've texted you so much about it. It's so much fun. Uh, it's everything I wanted the second season to be. Congratulations to you and everybody who worked on it. Thank you so much, and I really appreciate it, pal. I miss you. I miss you, too. I'll see you soon. The second season of I Think You Should Leave is streaming globally on Netflix.